Down. Starting weight 585 pounds, and from there, Kaz, it just gets more and more excruciating. I like his technique. He's strong, and he doesn't overpull the weight. If the referee says put it down and he's straight, that's enough. Bit of a strain there at 720 pounds, which is understandable. Now he goes up to 750 pounds. Wow, that's a bit of a surprise, Kaz. He looks strong. I thought he was ready for another. Five reps at a time of 20.07 seconds for Terry Hollins. And back to the Capitol Complex in Charleston, a spectacular backdrop as the deadlift continues for group number three. J.F. Caron, the Canadian, will have his opportunity, and it's been a real eye-opener to this point for the rookie, Kaz. Yeah, Todd, it's been a real struggle for him thus far, but he's known in Canada as one of the best deadlifters with a really strong back. Your attention, please, from Canada, J.F. Caron. 26 years of age, J.F. Caron from Quebec City. Ready, and lift! Remember, the starting weight, Kaz, 585 pounds. We'll find out just how good he is as we go to this next weight, 620, and he makes it look easy. Pretty simple for him. It's just a matter, of, as a rookie, of getting some familiarity in the first couple of reps. Because when it gets heavy, it gets hard real fast. And he tosses the eyewear. And he's successful, 720 pounds. Now, this is a big one, 750. Got to get the hips down. He's all back. Down. And he locks it out, 750 pounds. This is it, the final repetition. This is for 800 pounds and the lead. It's a good thing he has a strong back. He used it on the last one. Let's see if he can use all back this time. He's setting those hips awfully high. J.F. Cron unsuccessful, but he does have a very strong performance. He is our current leader, six reps, 35.23 seconds. <laughs> Kevin Neve wants something to scream about. He'll continue to make his push for the final when the Metrics World's Strongest Man returns. Group three began at the loading race, and it's Finland's Jani Virtanen getting the win and the big six points. In the keg toss, eight barrels made it safely over the 16-foot wall for Carmel Mitt. The Estonian picks up the victory. At 25 tons, the truck pole was the heaviest we've seen. But that didn't seem to bother the eventual winner, Terry Hollins of England. So after three of six events, Tarmo Mitt is the leader with 16 points, three points back. Terry Hollins and Yanni Virgin are tied for second. Elvis Nigmatulin is fourth, Kevin Nee fifth, and J.F. Caron sixth. Good sized legs, strong hips, and a really powerful back. Down. This weight's 620 pounds. He is successful. This is 650. He really seems to be using a lot of his back. Maybe there's a great deal of fatigue from previous events. Successful at 685. This is a big one, Kaz. 720. I'm not seeing the light drive, Todd. He's got to put him in there. Extremely vertical is Elbrus Nigmatulin. Still has time. Remember the mark to beat. Six reps and 35.23 seconds put it by J.F. Crone. He won't get that. And Elbrus Nigmatulin has had enough. Five repetitions in the time of 25.33 seconds. That puts him into third place. Todd, you can see right here, although he's built perfectly for the deadlift, he's not utilizing his leg power. He's relying on his low back for the whole move. Elbers would have got a couple more reps if he didn't utilize good technique. From the nation of Estonia, Tarmo Mit. And that takes us to our overall leader in the group, Tarmo Mit of Estonia. Tarmo's a taller guy, Kaz. He's really not going to enjoy this deadlift, is he? It certainly Ready? doesn't favor a big man. He's got a long way to pull the bar. The only way he can do well here is to keep his hips down, utilize his legs, synchronize his back, and shove his hips forward all at once. Down! 
So far, so good, and he's successful at 685 pounds. Cash, you talk about the travel, the distance he has to go. It's brutal for Tarmo, and I think he's had enough. Surely some of the past events have taken something out of him. Four repetitions at a time of 16.31 seconds for your current leader in the group, Tarmo Mitt. Todd Tarmo pulled four easy reps. I think he was conserving his energy, knowing that he's the leader in this group. Well, the final man in the deadlift the is USA. Kevin Nee of Arizona. He's in fifth place overall. Now, Kevin needs a good showing here if he wants to contend for one of the two spots in the final. The deadlift should allow him to do exactly that, Todd. Kevin is world class in this event. Are you ready? What? Well, this is it. Kevin Nee needs to get six repetitions at under 35.23 seconds. And the first two casts look easy. He's smoking them, Todd. Wow. This is for 720 pounds. He's got one of the strongest backs I've ever seen, Todd. Down. And with that lift, Kevin Nee has done it. Now he doesn't need the seventh rep. The win is already his. 800 proves to be too much. Kevin Nee, your winner in the deadlift. Six reps in a time of 24.28 seconds. Kevin obviously knew the stakes, knew that a win in the deadlift was a must. Tremendous performance for the man from Arizona.